We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line with the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Ryan. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he's brought down after a very nice game. To Calvin Ridley. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. On second and nine, Ryan, a very quick pass to Ridley. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 37. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Three yards the gain there, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. This looks like a free play for Ryan. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math. They did it well, and it works for them. 59, ready. Five, now Ryan on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Complete to a gain first. of six there on first. Now how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. From the 17, here's second and four. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. Following a touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Takes this about five yards deep. 
And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A first carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Dante Fowler in on the stop. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second down, here's Barkley. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Here's Jones to throw on third down. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A first down and then some. Give them 29 yards. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sensed that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. On first and 10. Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, he's got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in second. Second and inches at the 33 yard line. On second down, Barkley. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 25. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Giants nothing. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Now a handoff here to his running back. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. He's brought down by Dion. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 22, Jones. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. From the gun. Jones. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's second and goal operating from the eight yard line. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Here's another second and goal, this time from half the distance closer. 
operating from the gun. Jones to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, but now it's third and goal. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. Jones now going to throw on third and goal. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones able to connect with Sterling Shepard. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Captain Zero. And we are tied at seven. Team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. penalty it's Gurley and he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six he was brought down well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while get at least two first downs give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown the last play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 now it's Ryan Got his man, that's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards, a first down. And that's the connection, Ryan to Jones, that this defense obviously has to key in on. Certainly feels like they got the party started with that one, doesn't it? And when those two get in sync, it just scares the heck out of defenses because he can hit Julio Jones in a short zone, and he can take it the whole way. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Gurley. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. The ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. 
They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. A gain of 11 on the play. First down, Atlanta. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. The throw left side complete to Treadwell. To Laquan Treadwell. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. To throw again on second down. Ryan. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the red zone now, here's Ryan on first down. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they will stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan. And an incomplete pass. Room to that'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Again, Ryan to the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. A 31-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. It's time to learn it. Mess around and put that thing up where you burn it. Six figures every year, yeah, I earn it. At the front of this line is where my turn it. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the one that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the one that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that list, make sure you cut them in. And then, sometimes you need a friend. Aku just hit the field goal, now he kicks off. from the six and a decent return out to the 27 yard line so the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive down three under a minute to go how aggressive are you going to be in this spot not as aggressive as I probably would want to be only down three I mean it might as well be even going into the half that's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. Got 
Jones throwing on first down. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. New York ready to go again offensively. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Extra point good by Catanzaro. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And it's third down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. And New York set to take the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second and seven, Jones over the middle, complete to Tate. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Mike, five, four, Mike, five, four. 
Now Jones from the gun on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Here's Riley Dixon now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room. And now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started, at least come away with three points. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 38, Ryan. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Give him six yards in the first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. Xavier McKinney. We'll tackle there by the safety, Xavier McKinney. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They run. It's Gurley. Now he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Now it's Gurley. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 35 on second down, Ryan is going to find his running back. It's complete. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll lead here to a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now it's Smith. 
And some space here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now a draw play for Gurley. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Again, they run with Gurley. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Falcons on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and eight. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And his kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. hit the field goal now he kicks off fielded just outside the goal line and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the Giants offense now they get ready to head back on the field they're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one score game and you hear a lot about two minute offense and four minute offense obviously the four minute offense applies here how do they run that effectively yeah really what the four minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock so you want consistent gains steady gains doesn't have to be big plays but it has to be plays that kicks first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. to throw again. Jones. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And good field position coming up here. The football at the 12-yard line. Recovers by Atlanta. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line where it And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Matt Ryan able to connect with his top man, Julio Jones. And the Falcons have once again taken the lead. 
On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. 54, come on, 54. Go. 54. Go. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at the 32-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. David Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, the taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On second and nine, Ryan. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Three yards short of the first. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're running with Gurley. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Todd Gurley unable to get it past the line. And the Giants are going to get the football back. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. On the crossing route, complete. That's Shepard. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Gardner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. He'll look to throw. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 41-yard line. Hardy got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw. That's complete left side to Shepard. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. He's back to throw. Caught right side, Tate. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Back to throw. That is caught inside the five. And yeah, the Giants are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Today, well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone, and that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone, they don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field, congratulations to them. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from MetLife Stadium.